welcome back to our kitchen. Tonight we are cooking um, peanut butter protein oat cups with chocolate chips and banana for Sarah. And we are talking about being in a firm relationship. Okay. That's not going to work. <laughs> That's not going to stick. I was going to use that and then you end up in like your spoon, yeah. but it was... Anyway, I hope everyone's well. <laughs> um, and I'm going to get started straight away. This is a super quick and easy one tonight. So we're making these before, um, for Sarah before she goes to the gym so she can kind of have like a bit of a calm and protein here. Yeah, because it's a gluten-free one. Gluten-free, yeah. So you're going to get... Um, a low GI one. Low GI, because it's dark chocolate. 100 grams of oats in there. 50 grams of chocolate chips, dark chocolate chips in a bowl. What you're gonna do is your oops, banana, mashed banana, <laughs> mashed banana. <laughs> so Pride Month, guys. So happy Pride Month for a start. Happy Pride Month, mash a banana into here. Should Who there? What the? Has anyone else mashed a banana like that? She's got a fork in her hand, and she's okay. just kind of like mashing it. She, well, yeah, now you are. You weren't. Yeah, but I realised that was a stupid thing to do. So now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, so we just come back from LA and we had experiences there. It was great, don't get me wrong, but yeah. we had a lot of experiences that was like, oh, sisters. And we even went to the Fit Expo and they even said, oh, you're the European sisters. And we were like, no, no, we're not. And so they booked us on the thing thinking that we're actually sisters, which was so strange. And they were like, no. And then we got, are you sisters or friends? Quite a lot. Yeah. And no one could seem to. It's one of them, we don't want to rub it in people's faces, like, too, we're not just rubbing it in people's faces, but we don't want to, like, be like, we're gay, we're gay, hello, gay, all of the time. But it would be really nice for someone in our lives to maybe yeah. assume we might have to be with partners, you know, when we're like walking down the street holding hands and people still think we're sisters. It happens all the time. So uh, it's just one of those like weird situations. And then one time it happened and a woman was just too nice about it that we were like, yeah. <laughs> she was so lovely. And we were just like, it's not her fault because it's not anyone's fault, but people just always assume straight away. And then we get like, you look identical, and we do not look identical. Um, yeah, Sarah's got a great time right now, and I, I match the colour of this peanut butter. Yeah. yeah, that one's really like, thing you know, especially like, well, using friends yeah. or sisters, but sorry. Three tablespoons of peanut butter. We're using the muscle food peanut butter, because it comes in this massive, massive. Massive. So if you like peanut butter, it's a good one to get. Um, it is just pure peanuts as well, so it's not funny. Yeah, it's a, it's a good one. It is a good one. Um. This is annoying, it's not coming out. <laughs> These, I assume, I don't know the calories in it, we're going to work that out later, yeah, but I assume okay. it's actually going to be fairly high. Yeah, because it's going to be a good filling breakfast. Yeah, far. it's not going to be fairly high as in a way that that means you need to avoid it if you are kind of calorie counting. So it's good for me because actually I'm going back on a bulk. Yeah. Um, but um, yeah, it's, it's got all those kind of stuff that keeps you full of the long run yeah. stuff too. It's got, like, it just fat, means protein and carbs. Track it. So it's perfect. Yeah. Really. I think people think calories should be about 100 calories, but Oh yeah, I remember you talking about that actually. That's why everyone goes wrong, don't they? They think it's like if it's mm. about 100 calories, it's not low calorie. And then you're starving yourself and all these things will go. And then comes to night time, you're so hungry, you've got 100 calories, and you just have everything. I just get my hands in there and I don't mind. <laughs> we always joke with people like, oh, you look so similar though. Someone, what was it they said to us? Um, someone said, oh, you guys need to have stop hanging around so much because you guys look like so alike. And I was like, I was dressed in me like shorts and some colourful top because it's me. And yeah. Charlotte was in all black because like it's her. One I've got blue in my hair. <laughs> Sorry. It's One okay. tablespoon of honey. Um, I've got blue in my hair, for crying out loud. Um, yeah. We just don't look anything alike and I feel like that's, that's what we get a lot. And then other things that we get as friends as well, which I think is disgusting, is oh, you're... Um, one of you is supposed to be butch. One of you is supposed to look like a man. Oh, it's like that would be me. And I'm just like, I just think no. Like, are, yeah. Are we? And like, and I just think it's shit if people can say it, isn't it? Like, the people that are like butch and stuff. It's because there's nothing wrong with it. And then, um, or we always get like a lot of waste as well, don't we? I'm getting in my hands before I wash my hands just to mash it all together. So nobody else hates stuff like this. So, yeah. I mean, I know you guys watching, if you're also obviously gay and have a partner or have had a partner, etc., you're going to completely understand all yeah. of what we're saying. Um, yeah, yeah the, I think when it is two feminine females, it seems so impossible that we could possibly be an item. Yeah, um, yeah, running out unless we're in obviously like the gay part and stuff like that. People would be like, "All oh, right, you could just let us down easier than that, you know, yeah. or whatever." Yeah. And it's like, no, 
we're actually an item. <laughs> like, yeah. we're a thing. <laughs> and I think we got that quite a lot. And you get like, um, people just assume the wrong thing straight away. We're just friends. We get it like in Ubers. It's like, oh, which one of you's on the pool tonight then? And like, oh, neither of us because we're in a relationship. And they're like, oh, well, where is he tonight? Where's he? He's staying at home. And I'm like, yeah, he's staying at home. <laughs> but, <laughs> Sometimes I just appease the whole situation and just go along with it. It's what I don't get confused. I'm actually quite like boyish as well, in all fairness. Like my mannerisms yeah. and the, the way that yeah. I kind of am. I mean, people yeah. classify me as like a stem. Yeah. Not that it matters. Like it doesn't matter it, like, at all. That, um, that. <laughs> but yeah, it's like it still seems completely unbelievable. And it's like... Yeah. I think there's, there's definitely hardship to being gay on, on every front as well in this... There's different hardships with being like, um, sorry, <laughs> being like slightly more masked than the body gets slightly more firm. I'm not saying any of the hardships are easier than the other, but it definitely mm. it's all different depending on what you actually look like as well and how you appear. And, um, it's just, I don't know, like the comments that you see online yeah. too, it's like... It's very much like, because we don't look a certain way, it's very like, no, you can't be, and then it's like, oh, you won't be one day, or you'll marry a guy. I've had that throughout all my life, that you'll end up marrying a guy, yeah, though, yeah. Um, and stuff. And it's like, it just seems so unbelievable in people's minds, and it, it baffles me in this day and age that that is still how it's seen. Yeah, I've um, got yeah. cases. But then on the other end of the scale, if someone is, if one of us was, say, more masculine, I decided to shave my hair off or whatever, then all I'm going to get is, why do you have to turn into a bloke to be gay? It's like you can literally never win in the scenario. Yeah. You can't. <laughs> I think, well, no matter, like, if you're slightly out of the norm, you're always going to get comments about something in life, no matter what it is, whether it's being, like, of a different, like, race or, like, identifying as non binary or anything like that, people would always say, have something to say about it. And I think that's the most important thing to learn is that these look amazing, by the way. It smells so good. Don't they look great? Yeah. We 100% it gets sexualized a lot as well, which yeah. is kind of annoying actually. Yeah. It's, um, yeah, it's which one of them. Why we don't really sexualize ourselves as well because, yeah, um, we don't really post other than when we're on holiday like CD pictures or half clothes photos because, um, when we're on holiday, it's different because we actually are in a bikini dressing around, but because we don't want to encourage sexualization yeah. of being gay because it's one person's fantasy it's another person's life and I think people forget that like you know it's not a fantasy for us we're not sitting there thinking waking up every morning being like oh my god I'm going to live gay today it's not that you don't do that do you? you don't wake up in the morning and think oh, you have to remind yourself that you're gay I think a lot of people think what's it like being gay and it's exactly the same as it. it's like anything else isn't it do you not think <laughs> I don't I don't know, ever think about it no, you know what I mean? I've never sat there once and thought, ooh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> like it's just no, it never really comes about unless yeah. a situation occurs that it's, yeah, that it's come about. Yeah, it's like, oh shit, yeah, we're gay. We're gay. Yeah. yeah. Right, yeah. guys. I'm just going to do it now. I'm going to put a sandwich bag on my hands because I actually can't stand this um, consistency, to be quite honest. This smells amazing. It looks amazing. Um, and then what, here we go. So we're in here now. Um, yeah, and then I'm going to push them down, she says. She's going to open the sandwich bag. How long does it take? Yeah, and then I'm going to push them down. So these are no bacon as well, so you just put them in the fridge and um, just set. Um, oh, and you just do that with a spoon. Oh, that's such a good idea. Should have Why is she a spoon? <laughs> you got the spoon out. I know, I'm just going to push these down to... I don't know why I got that. Well, maybe I did get that out of um, push these down in here, and then what we're going to do is just melt the rest of the dark chocolate chips really quickly in the microwave Ooh. and drizzle them over the top with a little bit of peanut butter as well. My favourite part. <laughs> what is the peanut butter? Oh, uh, the dark chocolate. Yeah. Um, also, we're going to a Pride event next week, aren't we? Um, there's a lot of events going on in June. We're going to the festival called Out and Wild Festival, which is a new festival for um, women, really, isn't it? And it's going to be yeah. fun. It's like a Camp, activity centre, a wellness. Yeah, it's like a wellness uh, thing. Uh, it's going to be like camping. Or not, in South Wales? In South Wales. Yeah. In yeah, South Wales. in South Wales. It's our first one. We're popping a lot of content on when we're there and stuff, so you guys are going to see that, which is really cool, because obviously it's the first one, so you guys are going to see 
how old that's about. It's, um, yeah. I'm really excited for it actually. It's a bit of a long drive, but it's a five-hour drive. It's a women only one, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it's women yeah. only. And then we've got like a, a stargazing pod that we're staying in, which I'm really excited for. It's going to be a really nice pod. bit of Wales. We went to that part of Wales not that long ago, didn't we? It's in January. Yeah. For um, a lodge day, which is so nice. So I'm really excited for that. I'm not excited for the drive, but let's stop halfway, aren't we? Say some questions that happen, like, uh, Oh, is, is one bed going to be alright for you? Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. Well, we're checking the hotels. Checking the hotels, yeah. like, it's, 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 just a, it's just a one bed. It's, it's, it's actually alright for you. Yeah. No, Susan, yeah. you know what? I need another room. Yeah, we do. Yeah. And yeah, when we checked the hotel, I think the first hotel we checked into, it was, um, it is just one double bed. Is that okay? And we just looked at each other like, no. <laughs> no, it's not. We've got it too. But yeah, that happens a lot, and I think um, that's probably the most common one, isn't it? Or mm. like if you go to a wedding fair, and they're like, oh, where's the husband today? Mm. And you're like, eh. We are the husband. Yeah, she, she is the husband. She likes playing husband, so oh. It's taken ages to melt. It's literally taken so long to melt, so I'm going to just have to mix it in. Ah, see? There we go. Is it gonna, are they going to drip? No. Yeah, they will. And then just drip the chocolate on the top. Please show this slightly the other way. We need like two canvas for this. It's got to be when it's hot. It's not really melting. Okay, I think we're going to put a tiny bit of oat milk. Tiny bit of oat milk. That's probably a problem though, isn't it? Let's try again. No, I don't think that's worked. No. Okay, we'll just do it like this. <laughs> yeah, why didn't you just put like a couple of like scrapings of... Yeah, I should have really, you know. Just put chocolate chips on top. I should have done. I remember you asked to take a photo of these because these were awesome. And then back to the tiny, tiny bit of peanut butter for the drizzle. Well, you're going to have to so that the calorie amount's on site. I know. If you've not checked oh, out SolandCourage.com, guys, I'm done. check out SolandCourage.com. So, they're, they're supposed to not look like this. Um, what a disastrous I YouTube for you today. <laughs> um, and we're quitting. This is our last ever YouTube because we can't do this again. Um, and then you basically put them in the fridge for like an hour until set, leave them overnight. And you can have them the last four weeks. So you can have one every morning and take it to work. If you drive to work and you're always going to be at breakfast in the car, anything like that really. Um, if you're always yeah, it saves home. money from those bars that are in like the yeah. shops as well. Yeah. You don't know what they're filled with and realistically if something's going to have a shelf life that's longer than your life then you probably shouldn't put it in your gob. Um, what? Shelf life longer than your life, uh, this 80 year shelf life. <laughs> well it's not good is it not? Okay. So at least you know, you know what I mean, it's it's fresh and, yeah. and whatnot. Yeah, anyway guys, the best people will be on the site, we think. If it's not, you know why. Uh, have a great week, uh, happy Pride Month and we'll see you next week. <laughs> that was a disaster. That was a disaster, but it's fine.